Let's get golden, Murabays, part two. Hello Merbays, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. If you are new here, then please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon so that you never miss one of my uploads. I make new videos here on my channel every single Friday-ish. And if you don't know me already, my name is Mermaid Zelda slash MZ or whatever you wanna call me. Today, I am going to be giving you an update on the whole Finn Folk Mythic Tale unboxing situation, let you know where we are at and also let you know what they sent me about it. So first things first, I'm going to read you the emails that they sent to me after I reached out to them, after I had opened my new mythic tale to find that there were no fins attached to the tale which I had ordered and paid an extra $400 for, and then I emailed them again after being stabbed in the foot while I was trying my tail on by a pin that was accidentally left inside the fluke of my mermaid tail. So the first email that I got from the Finfolk team was the next day. I opened my tail last Tuesday and I got an email back from Hannah on the Wednesday. Hannah is the production manager at Finfolk and she was the person who was responsible for assembling my tail. So the email I got from Hannah was very long. It was four paragraphs plus a little bit more. She went on to say what she thinks happened with my tail. The fact that we were concerned that the mythic zipper might not be fully covered by just scales. I had asked if I should purchase a dorsal fin if I was concerned about that. So she sent me pictures of the zipper being like, no girl, you're fine. The zipper is super well covered and it was all good from there. But I had purchased hip fins and heel fins aside from being worried about the zipper coverage. So Hannah thinks that she was so concerned with the zipper coverage on my tail that she somehow forgot that my tail was supposed to have hip fins and heel fins. She also said, Last year, the company invested in a special pin detector to help aid in staff locating hidden pins among scales on Mythic Tales. Since pins in Mythic Tales are something we have struggled with for a while now, especially in Mythic Tales where the neoprene and or scale colors camouflage the yellow pin heads. Because the pin was, it had a yellow head inside of my gold yellowy tail. Mythic Tales now go through visual inspection, physical inspection, and we put our hand as far down as we can into the tails, as well as running the pin detector over the front and back of the fluke and fin attached. This is the first time since introducing this pin detector that a pin has evaded me during my final visual and physical inspection with this method and for that I cannot apologize enough. So she did apologize for both the pin and for the fins being left off of my tail. Her initial solution to this issue was going to be to pay for the shipping for me to send the tail back to the studio in the States have them attach the fins and then send it back to me. I wasn't super happy with this idea because I am an international customer. So on top of shipping, there is also customs and duties to be paid. I paid $230 in customs to get my tail in the first place. And so I wasn't sure if they were gonna be covering the customs and duties to receive my tail back. And then when they sent it back to me again, it just seemed like a lot of money and a lot of time for them to be paying and for me to not be having my tail. So I suggested that instead they could refund me one or two sets of fins, express ship them to me with some adhesive and that I would then use the refunded money to pay my local silicone tail maker to attach the fins correctly for me. I will put the whole email from Hannah on the screen right now. So if you want to pause it and read it all for yourself, go ahead. So I wrote back with my proposed solution of them sending the fins to me, refunding, you know, one or both sets of fins, depending on what they thought was fair, and then me paying a silicone tail maker in my area to attach the fins for me. So this was Wednesday, and then their email servers were down the following day on Thursday. And then on Friday, Abby, one of the co-owners slash creators of Finfolk emailed me back. Abby sent me a shorter, much more to the point email, apologizing and letting me know about some of the new 
protocols they will be using to ensure that no mermaid tails are sent out, you know, incorrectly, unfinished. So Abby said, Abby here, I apologize that we were not able to reach out immediately yesterday as our email server was down. As one of the owners of Finfolk, I wanted to reach out to you to personally express our deepest apologies about this unfortunate mistake. As a result of this incident, we have created a more fine-tuned system for checking all mythic orders before shipment, which now requires multiple signatures and cross-checks. It is our ultimate goal that a situation like this never happens again. We have also created several more steps alongside our metal detector to check that no pins are missed during our construction process. Again, I deeply apologize for not only the disappointment of your order arriving only partially completed, but for the safety hazard of a construction pin being left in the tail. We take these occurrences extremely seriously and Bren and I are implementing further measures alongside our metal detector and general quality checks to ensure that this also never happens again. So honestly, I think it is a really good thing that I made my unboxing video and still posted it and, you know, reached out to them with my concern because it seems like this has been a really big learning experience for the Finfolk team since I kind of put out there that I was not satisfied with what I received and a lot of other mermaids, unfortunately, also were messaging me and commenting on my posts about how, you know, the exact same things had happened to them. Basically that, you know, these mistakes have been happening since like 2017, 2018, 2019, and are still happening to this day. So I think that the whole thing was a wake up call for Finfolk to just implement a lot stricter measures and protocols so that they will have sufficient quality control to make sure that nobody is ever stabbed by a pin when trying on their new mermaid tails or receiving the wrong mermaid tails or infinished tails or what have you. I think that, you know, having multiple people sign off on every tail is a really good idea to make sure that, you know, you don't get a, a mermaid tail that on the tag it says that it has fins, but then the tail itself doesn't have fins. You know, like if multiple people are checking, there's just no way that this kind of thing will happen again. So ultimately, I think it has been a really good thing. Unboxing a mermaid tail is supposed to be exciting. It's supposed to be a dream come true. It's not supposed to be what it was, but I really appreciate all of their apologies and I do believe them that they will be implemented these changes so that nothing like this happens again. So in response to my specific situation, Abby said, We are happily refunding you both fin sets and will cover any costs associated with the use of a local artisan helping you attach them. It is typically our policy to ship the tail back to ourselves to fix at no cost to you, but we understand your concerns regarding shipping timelines and not wanting to be parted from your beautiful new tail. We have shipped the fins via DHL, which have found to be the best and most reliable international service. The number is blah blah blah, your shipment can be tracked at blah blah blah. Your current estimated delivery date is this Tuesday, March 2nd, and it's actually Monday, March 1st, so they actually arrived sooner than that. We will also, of course, reimburse you for any taxes or import fees. Please save any receipts associated with the above costs. It is our greatest hope that you find these measures satisfactory. We understand that there is no way we can take away the disappointment our company has caused, but we will do everything we can to make sure you feel completely satisfied with the outcome of this unfortunate issue. Please do not hesitate to reach out with any questions or concerns you may have. Bryn and I are staying well informed on the situation and all follow-up measures. Sincerest apologies, Abby Roberts. With a few paragraphs, I I skipped in the middle, but again, I will put the whole email on the screen if you do want to read every single word. So I think Abby and the Finfolk team have handled this really well. They're being very kind and compensating with, you know, sending the fins to me as per my request so that I will get Mermaid Amethia to attach the fins for me. And that is what's gonna happen. I asked her if she would be able to do that for me and she said yes. So my mind is at ease that a professional silicone tail maker will be able to attach these fins to my tail. The only thing I will say is that Finfolk unfollowed me on Instagram after this situation, which felt a little bit like, oof, okay. So it, it's kind of funny that they're like, oh, deepest apologies. We hope we can be like 100% satisfactory and like, we can't apologize enough. Unfollow. <laughs> Lola, unfriend. What? Unfollow. Do you just thought that that was pretty funny because they have been following me for a couple of years now, so. Just thought I would point that out. But anyways, now without further ado, let's open this super shiny gold package. I like what they did there with the gold packaging, very fitting. So let's open it now and check out these fins. I did not think I would be doing another Finfolk unboxing so soon. Okay, so I can see that there's some envelope in there and it looks like the fins are inside a little drawstring bag, all nice and folded up. They're quite heavy. I was like, oof, definitely adds a couple pounds to your mythic tail. 
So let's take a look at these. Lovely. And also it gives you a good idea how big the fins are if you don't have a mythic tail. Damn, so these are the heel fins. They are huge. Cause this bit is like, will be covered up with the scales, I think. Um, and they would go this way. Yeah, this way on the fluke. So these look awesome, super sparkly, super gold, super color shifting, lovely. And then these are the new Cariel hip fins, which are different than the original Mythic hip fins, which is super exciting. These also are super, super pretty, beautiful, amazing. I cannot wait to get these on my tail, so I'm very happy that they arrived safely to me. You know, better late than never. So these go kind of like this on your hips on the tail. So yay, we got the fins, super pretty. It is pretty cool to see them, you know, unattached. Obviously it would have been better if I didn't have to see them unattached, but it is pretty neat to see how they look and just how big these are. So these ones are $175 for the two. These guys are $150 for the two, which is a little interesting considering these are actually quite a bit bigger than these fins, but maybe the heel fins are more difficult to attach to the tail than the hip fins are. Kind of line them up perfectly here. This is the heel fin and then this is the hip fin underneath. So interesting, but very cool, very pretty, very shiny, very gold. Uh, they're going to look so good on my tail. And now let's see what is in Oh my goodness, there's more things in here. Oh, they sent me a little like hair comb accessory. That's so nice. What the heck? And there's a bag of scales. They sent me a little bag of scales. So that's really nice too. That's so nice. I wasn't, I wasn't really expecting them to send me, you know, anything else. So Ooh, it's silicone. Whoa, that's really cool. So it's a little seashell hair accessory. Um, I do not own anything like this. So it's, yeah, made of silicone. It's gold to match the fins. And it has little rhinestones or like crystals in there too. So I guess I would kind of put it like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with this. But that's really nice. Thank you, Finfolk, for sending that to me. That is very much appreciated. It's super pretty and it's going to look really great with my tail. So thank you guys. And let's see what is in the envelope here. Scale mail. Cute little sticker on there. Okay. So we have two envelopes in here. And we also have the suggested attachment method for finfolk heel and hip fins. So that's really nice. They, they printed out little instructions for me, which they said they would do, which is really great because I want them to be attached, you know, very, very good and well. So I'm going to open the one that says Emma first. Oh, it's a cute little, it's a cute little hammerhead, hammerhead shark card. Okay, let's open this up. We wanted to thank you again for your business and for giving our small team of magic makers a chance to make up for the mistake made during your mythic tail creation process. We've included recommended fin attachment instructions and a few extra goodies to complement your glimmer mythic tail. We wish you a magical day, Finfolk team. So that's really nice. Thank you, Finfolk. A cute little card. You know, they didn't have to send me anything extra, so that's really nice that they did. And then I think there might be some stickers in here. Yes! Oh, these are so cute! <laughs> I'll show you my iPad really quick that I was reading the emails off of. I already have quite a few Finfolk stickers on here. And I do like my mermaid stickers. Gorgeous. A little orange mermaid that says Finfolk. Little just Finfolk logo sticker. It's like a pretty little shell and octopus tentacle Finfolk sticker. And another mermaid sticker with an orangey gold tail. So that's really nice. I will definitely stick those on my iPad. And thank you very much, Finfolk, for sending me the extra goodies and for sending me my fins. So they said they would send the adhesive in a separate package just in case, God forbid, it exploded. So I will let you guys know when I receive that adhesive. But yeah, I have my fins. I've got my little my little crown and some extra scales. So that's really, really nice. And the stickers. So I definitely think that Finfolk handled this really, really well. And I want to say thank you to Abby and Bryn and Hannah and everybody for not blowing me off, for not ignoring me, for actually getting back to me 
and not only like fixing your mistake but really making it up to me as well i do really appreciate it as somebody who owns three mermaid tails from you guys like i never want to hurt your company like i never want to say bad things at all i love your products you guys seem like really really nice people you are amazing artists obviously and i never want to feel like we are against each other so i do really really appreciate you guys handling the situation the way that you did and i think it reflects very highly of your customer service of your company of the quality that you stand by and i also really hope that the new measures you will be taking will also just overall improve your quality control so that things like this don't happen again so i absolutely accept their apologies i will be buying more mermaid tails from finfolk in the future i think it's really good i think it is a happy ending and yeah i love finfolk tales I really, really appreciate the way that the team has handled the situation, all the goodies they sent me and the beautiful fins, and just taking that extra care to make sure that I was completely satisfied with the outcome as well. So I'm glad I sat down to film this little update. I could perhaps make another follow-up video about getting these fins attached, so definitely let me know in the comments below if you would like to see that. And if that video doesn't happen, I will certainly be uploading a first swim in my new gold mythic tail very very soon so definitely look forward to that i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up let me know down in the comments below how you think finfolk handled this situation do you think that you will buy from finfolk in the future let me know down below let's chat about it i would love to hear all of your personal experiences ordering from finfolk as well don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already by clicking that button down there and then also smash the bell notification button so that you never miss one of my uploads. I do make new videos here on my channel every single Friday-ish. You can also follow me on Instagram at MermaidZelda and at Emma.Forth for lots of fun mermaid behind the scenes photos. And you can also follow me on TikTok at MermaidZelda as well. All those links are down in the description below along with the Finfolk website. I also wanted to say thank you for everybody who left kind messages and comments on my last video of the unboxing. You know, a lot of people were very, very sympathetic and kind and just supportive and amazing. I didn't receive a single negative comment or message, which is just really, really nice. And like the mermaid community, we are good people. So thank you guys and, and also my viewers who aren't necessarily in the mermaid community. I just want to say thank you guys for always loving and supporting me and for sending me messages and comments. I really, really appreciate you more than you can ever know. Every time I put a smile on your face, you put a smile on my face like 10 times over. You know, anytime that I inspire you, you inspire me right back. So I just want you guys to know how amazing each and every one of you are, how special each and every one of you are, and don't give up on your dreams. I'm sorry, that was a little tangent, but I love you guys so much. You are the best freaking internet audience a fish could ever ask for. And I just really love and appreciate you guys so, so much. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And most importantly, I hope I will see you here next Friday-ish for a brand new video. Until next time, bye!